So, we have four Vedas and we have a number of Upanishads. These Upanishads are nothing but Vedanta itself means Vedonka Sar, the essence of the Vedas. Now, the word Upanishad it actually means upa plus ni plus saddhatu with quip pratyay. It means sitting close to a teacher to do what? In order to get this knowledge, get the knowledge of the supreme existence, unitary existence of all creation. To get this knowledge, brahma jnan, jo kehte hai, brahma vidya, to get this sitting close to a teacher. Remember, Vedas were transmitted by word of mouth. In those days, they did not have such communication systems, isn't it? So, it was transmitted, that is why it is called Shruti. It has to be heard from the teacher, it has to be contemplated through the words of the teacher. And this is how the Vedas were transmitted, this knowledge was transmitted over the centuries. Today, we are getting it in its purest form. This knowledge is considered so very important in this particular culture, everywhere in the world actually, because this is to do with yourself. Please see this. This is self knowledge. Aapke they are introducing you to your real being. If you actually try to track the eye sense in you, it will take you into this research. Isiliye, who am I? Question, what am I actually? How do I function? All these become so very important. Because if you live in a world where you do not know yourself, you do not know how you are functioning, you will give in to things external readily. But if you have a hold on yourself, you know how this particular system functions, then in any place you can handle yourself well. In very trying situations also you can remain very stable and balanced, isn't it? And even if it, there was no practical usage of this, knowledge itself is important, isn't it? Just to know who I am is very, very important for its own sake because it liberates your mind, it expands your mind. Knowledge in its own right, on its own stand, it is sacred. It, is, it has always been considered sacred in our culture because it leads you towards the truth. Hmm? So, the second aspect of it is its practical usage. But primarily, it is a system of knowledge, very profound knowledge, which is giving you an introduction to your true being. This is what self-knowledge is about.